What is going on everybody and welcome back to another Husky video. Today I will be talking about the key differences between the male Husky and the female Husky. Now, before we get into this video, if you are new, make sure you go on ahead and you hit that subscribe button because on this channel, we upload videos on everything you need to know when it comes to raising your Husky as well as training your Husky. And we also upload our personal vlog videos. So if you're interested in that kind of content, then make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And now with that being said, let's go ahead and let's dive straight into this video. So what exactly makes up the difference when it comes to the female Husky and the male Husky? Well, typically the Husky breed in general is technically generalized as like a independent breed that likes to do their own thing. However, I've come to find out that it's the female Huskies that's actually way more independent than the male Huskies. So for example, when I got Loki, because Loki is my second dog. So when I got him, I was actually able to allow him to be more free because basically he showed me that no matter where I went, no matter what it was that I was doing, he's gonna follow me around. So if I were to get up right now and if I were to just walk off and let's say go in my room or go outside, he's gonna follow me. And if I were to allow him off the lead, I don't have that worry that he's gonna run away from me because for some reason, ever since he was a puppy, he's just been following me. Now, that's not the case when it comes to Nyla. Nyla was the exact opposite. She is the complete category of an independent dog. So when I got her, what she did was, instead of staying with me, she ran from me. Ma'am. Nyla, <laughs> what's up under the couch? So she ran from me. She would rather chase bugs. She would rather chase bunnies, squirrels, and she would rather dig up grass than to pay attention to anything that I was doing. Now, granted, if there was food involved, or of course, if it was training, then yes, she definitely, uh, I had her attention, but anything outside of that she's like dad i'm gonna be doing my own thing and there's nothing that you can do to stop me so females in my experience are more independent than the male huskies the second difference between the two would have to be that female huskies typically learn and adapt way faster than a male siberian husky for example, when I first got Nyla, within a couple of weeks, I would say like around four or five weeks, she learned every single basic command that I have taught her. I'm talking sit, I'm talking stay, I'm talking like give me paw, speak, lay down. She learned all of those within the first couple of weeks of having her. I think it was like around like 11 weeks when she completely had mastered all of her tricks and I actually have a video of her growing up with her actually learning her tricks so if you guys want to check out that video then I definitely will leave a link down below for you guys to check out Nyla's growing up videos now this was not the case when it came to Loki Loki didn't learn all of his commands and didn't master them until I would say around 14 to 16 weeks of age so somewhere around that ballpark he didn't learn all those tricks until then and i taught them both as soon as i got them at seven weeks so it took loki a little bit longer to learn everything and i think that is typical when it comes to the male huskies like i guess you can say that the male huskies are more stubborn when it comes to learning new tricks than the females. The third difference would have to be that male huskies are of course bigger than the female huskies. Like if you take a look at their height difference, you can clearly see that Loki is taller than Nyla. Now Nyla is a little smaller than what I thought that she would be, 
But Loki, on the other hand, okay, like he is the size that, you know, say I thought that a husky would genuinely be. So if you really think about it, female huskies typically weigh between around 40 to 50 pounds, while the male huskies can weigh between 55 and 70 pounds. Not only that, but male huskies are typically taller and leaner than what the female huskies are. But what basically makes up the difference in the weight isn't just the fact that male husks are taller because, I mean, even though y'all saw the difference, they're only like, that's about three, maybe four inches taller. That's not really the major difference. The major difference when it comes to the weight would have to be the amount of muscle that male huskies have versus the female huskies. And that also brings me to my next point would be that male huskies would pull harder than female huskies due to the amount of muscle that the male huskies have. So if you have a husky and you want to teach them to pull you, whether it would be on a skateboard, sledding, bike journey, no matter what it, it may be, just know that the male huskies would actually have an easier time to pull you because of the amount of muscle that they have because they're stronger while the female huskies can actually be used as support to keep the momentum going because of their smaller stature female huskies are technically faster than male huskies and the fifth and final difference between the two huskies would have to be that the male huskies they show a lot more affection than the female huskies so for example like this guy he does this all day long he would legitimately just come up to me and he just want me to do this he just loves this so much while Nyla, on the other hand, you see how she's just, you know, going off on her own and she's doing her own thing. That's basically what she does. You know, she doesn't want to really be patted. She doesn't want to have all this affection done to her, but he does. He loves it. And it'll be and like whenever I'm chilling in the bedroom or if I'm just chilling you know, on the couch, watching TV, watching that new Game of Thrones episode, basically you know, it would be him that's just right next to me and she's at the door sleeping or she's at home in her crate taking a nap. But both of them do show affection. It's just in their own way. But that is all for today's video. I would love to know your thoughts about the breed in the comment section down below. So let me know if you own a Husky or if you're planning on getting one and if this video helped you figure out which one that you want to get. And if you have one, let us know if your Husky acts like mine or let me know if your Husky acts differently. Also, don't forget to go on and like in the video. And if you're new, go ahead and subscribe and turn on post notifications so that way you do not miss a single upload from this channel. Now, with that being said, we wanna thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for your support. And now we will see each and every single one of you in the next video. Take care.